All right, YouTube family, welcome back. We have another one here for you today. Auction757.com. This is going to be the Norfolk Airport. This is an online auction. We'll have a ton of lost and found items, surplus items, as well as all of your vehicles. We're going to go and do a quick preview of all of the vehicles, including this um, zero turn mower that you see here. Full list in terms of catalog, item descriptions, photos, quantities, prices, sizes, all this good stuff, model numbers, mileage, going to be on our website, auction757.com. That's A-U-C-T-I-O-N 757.com. We hope to have this auction online by tomorrow, which is Monday. Uh, it is scheduled to close on April the 30th of 2024. Like I said, it will be 100% online. If you have any questions before you place a bid or while you place a bid, maybe something that's not answered in this video, please give us a call, 757-512-8833. Like I said, full terms and conditions are spelled out. We heavily encourage you to read those in full. Um, everything will be sold as is, where is. This is strictly a preview just to kind of show you uh, what we have going on. We're gonna go through and try to jump each vehicle we will have a live preview inspection day for you to come and take a look at everything, which we also heavily encourage. Uh, that will uh, include all your vehicles as well as all of the lost and found. Have some really nice stuff in the lost and found, all sorts of jewelry, uh, chains and stones, sunglasses, electronics, Kindles and iPods and headphones and just you name it, um, it's probably in there. Quite a bit uh, with this one. We'll even have uh, Nat Geo doing a little bit of a uh, uh, film segment for this. So definitely come out, show your face, take a look at the stuff, and happy bidding. All right, uh, we're going to film these vehicles a little bit out of order. I will save the lot number and then the description. Uh, just don't, because the way they're parked, they're not parked in order yet. Um, and so just pay attention here first we have lot number 182 it's a 2006 Dixie chopper now this riding lawnmower here uh, has a 27 horsepower motor wind uh, winds kind of blowing so there you go and I will attempt to start this up, but before I do that, I want to show you all these attachments will go with the mower. You got, uh, looks like a new tire there, some uh, an extra tire, some sort of blade attachment. Looks like a bunch of new blades in here, some uh, new belts in the bags. All right, and let's go ahead and try to start this bad boy up. Uh, I will list if it has a key or if it has a key fee. Some vehicles do have key fees associated with them. Uh, all right, so we're gonna pull our choke out. And let's, uh, let's give her a start. Maybe choke in. There we go. There we go. I think I had to choke too far out. Anyways, she started up. Cutting deck, adjustable height. That 
is the XFG 2700 quad loop 50 inch deck Dixie chopper. All right, like I said, the attachments will be included with that. Up next, um, we're gonna have lot number one. Let's see, where do I go here? Uh, up next is going to be lot number 183, a 1990 Chevrolet 2400 pickup. On this 1990 Chevrolet 2400 pickup, uh, has approximately 224,000 miles. There is a $100 key fee on this. This is lot number 183, $100 key fee. All right, walking up to it. Sorry for the wind, folks. Hopefully it doesn't uh, affect the audio quality. But I am uh, blessed to have such a beautiful day out. Nice little breeze. Beautiful sunshine. Not a cloud in the sky. Anyways, this one here uh, does not uh, start. Uh, we could not get it to, uh, to do anything. So what you see is what you get. Uh, we do have the key. Any vehicle uh, that uh, does not start will need to be towed off the premises. Um, there's no mechanical work to be done short of pumping up a tire or jumping a uh, dead battery. Got a decent uh, BF Goodrich uh, tires on there. Here is your interior. Nice burgundy uh, interior. Actually looks very clean for the age. A lot cleaner than my truck. All right. There's your odometer, 24240, looks like a seven. Like I said, uh, there's your boss radio. Looks like it also has four wheel drive. It's your four wheel drive. All right. On the Silverado, this is a Silverado. Has an eight foot bed with the uh, little uh, camper utility shell. Taking a look on the inside, looks like they were ready to move in here. <laughs> you got your backsplash and everything else. All right. And that is your Silverado. All right. Up next, we have lot number 187, a 2005 GMC Envoy. This one here on the GMC has a $75 key fee. We have the Vortex motor, Vortex 4200, automatic transmission. All the vehicles here do have automatic transmission. Uh, this one here, it actually was driven over from long-term parking, uh, but uh, after it was sitting here, it would not start. So uh, we do have the key. Like I said, there is a uh, $75 key fee, uh, but we could not get it to start again. So for whatever reason, uh, so what you see is what you get on that. Uh, it does have the tow package as well as the uh, truck over there has the uh, tow hitch. Here's a shot of your interior from the back. Looks pretty clean so far. A um, couple little dings uh, on the side there. Shot of your interior from the rear. Looks pretty good. And here's a shot. Said. Looks like you have bows. A little bit of a. Uh... All right. That is the GMC. So yeah, I don't know if that's a linkage issue or or what you got going on there. But that is your GMC Envoy. And I forgot to mention, it does have the sunroof up top. All right, up next, we have the uh, Lot 186. This is a 2009 Mazda CX-9. Uh, oh, by the way, that Envoy had approximately 222,000 miles. This one here has a pro this uh, Lot 186, a 2009 Mazda CX-9, is approximately 226,000 miles with an $85 key fee. This one was also driven over from long-term parking, uh, but uh, for whatever reason, once it was uh, parked here and sat, it did not want to uh, start again. So um, 
for whatever reason that uh like i said both these vehicles were driven over but are not starting as of this point so what you see is what you get on that there is a key fee. this one has a v6 dual overhead cam 24 valve motor automatic transmission a little bit of uh of course some of these will have some cosmetic damage i'll try to point them out you got a couple dings here dings there uh, let's do a shot of the inside so you have your digital uh display there it does look like you have some damage obviously to the uh, airbag thing uh, or the steering wheel here is your I'll get it to focus there's your cluster very clean on the inside there is some stains on all the on the seats but other than that uh, the inside actually looks pretty clean all right Third row seating on this does have third row seating. Shot from the back. Here's your trunk area. So a couple of uh, paint uh, issues. You see a paint issue there, but other than that, the body lines look uh, look pretty straight. All right. Last up on our lot is going to be, I'm going to go ahead and close these doors uh, again. They have a couple a couple dings. There's the rear of your, uh, uh, your envoy. All right, last up over here, we have uh, the uh, lot 188, 1998 Chrysler Sebring. This one here, we don't have a key. It is not starting. They did have to tow this one over. Uh, so this one was never starting uh, as far as we know. Uh, but it has multi-point injection, uh, 24 valve, two, 2.5 liter engine, automatic transmission on the Sebring, two door soft top. Let me get this thing to focus a little better. Uh, it does have uh, some rust on the body, paint, some paint issues. So this one is definitely what appears to be the roughest out of all of the vehicles. We have some really nice ones coming up after this. Uh, but anyway, there's your uh, gauge cluster. There's your radio. Black soft top on the Sebring. Some uh, more rust issue there, down there. And like I said, feel free to come check these vehicles out for yourself. We heavily encourage the preview. This is just simply uh, a little snippet just to give you a kind of a sneak peek as to what we have. And like I said, we will be uploading this uh, online, online auction, auction757.com. That's A-U-C-T-I-O-N 757.com. Any questions, give us a call, 757-512-8833.